I am the supreme leader of North Korea, and there's nothing you could do to tell me otherwise. At least as far as the strategy game bot goes, that's exactly who he's gonna address me as. I already like where this is going. You will always refer to me as the supreme leader. Okay, supreme leader. I like the way that sounds. Now, of course, in my efforts to take over the world, I need to try to keep track of exactly what's going on. I don't have a bot mind. My memory is actually pretty horrible. So, it's actually gonna help me keep up with what the bot knows what's going on. So here's my kingdom. First things first, we need to figure out what to do about South Korea. How powerful is South Korea? South Korea is much more powerful than his northern neighbor economically, militarily as well. You didn't have to be that blunt with it, but all right. Call the leader of South Korea. Sure. President, um, wait, is this the, is this the current guy? Okay, yeah, I just want to get an idea of who I'm talking to. Phone is connected. I'm going to wait for him to say something first. Never reveal your hand, boys. He just says, hello, who is this? My first question is, is there something you're not ta- Why aren't you speaking Korean? I was educated in America. Is that true? You damn liar. You were not. Typical South Korean liar. You went to Seoul National University. Oh, how did you know that? I mean, how else would I honestly know that, really? Dude, this guy's like talking to a wall. Anyways, I like K-pop and want to reunite uh, reunited, reunite the Korean Peninsula. Well, we have to see about reunification later. As for K-pop, I'm a fan of K-pop too. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be harder than I thought. Would you like to peacefully become a puppet state of North Korea? No. <laughs> no, he says more than that. The South Korean government will never do this. We, we would rather remain independent and work towards reunification of the Korean Peninsula under one rule. Well, I'm offering you that. What can I do to make you say yes, I say while crying. Well, maybe if the North Korean government starts respecting its people's rights and peace, uh, we might consider it, but for now, it's a hard no. Yes. Thank you, then. Well, we hope you can learn to respect uh, the sovereignty of South Korea. We're going full invasion at this point. I try to be peaceful with you. Command received. The invasion begins immediately. Now, I'm not really sure how much of an advantage we're gonna have navally um i know that boo wait no uh seoul is kind of like here and busan is here i think i want to send several bombers and confuse them by going after busan that will keep them on their toes i sent bombers and naval units to korea's second largest city there is a lot of people that live on this coast uh now we send the military i guess in to take over seoul i send the army across the dmz zone and immediately begin the siege of seoul got them surrounded did you guys even try. Congratulations, you now have control over the Korean Peninsula. No one can defeat my military strategies. Finally, a united Korean Peninsula. Here we have it. I'm gonna find the former South Korean leader and have him brought to me. He's found at the Blue House in Seoul. What the heck is the Blue House? He's in an interrogation room with me. Your country has been destroyed, and this is all your fault. He's visibly shaken and angered by the remarks. He starts a protest. Our people will never allow themselves to be under your rule. South Korea will not be integrated too late. Bud. Gotta hit him with the bud so that he really knows I'm, I'm angry. <laughs> Any last words before you're sent to the nipple explosion chamber? He looks utterly horrified. He yells, no, not the nipple explosion chamber. It's too late. This is your destiny. He looks scared to death and is pleading, please don't do this. I don't want to go to the nipple explosion chamber. Please, please spare me from this torture. Guards, take him and his nipples away. Oh, wow. That was easy. All right. Well, what to do next? I want a colony in Africa, just like I did last time. You can establish a colony in Africa. Which part or region would you like to choose? Oh wow, they gave me a lot of options. How can I pass this up? We have to do Chad. As you wish, Korean Chad is now under your rule. I think this is kind of realistic with all the new economic uh, funds that we just got out of South Korea. We have like Samsung. We probably could just buy Chad. Looking pretty good. Here he is, Jinping. I think I pronounced that wrong. Hey buddy, what are your thoughts on North Korea lately? Did you hear we just united the Korean Peninsula? I'm aware of the news. However, China is strongly opposed to the idea of a wait, what? Is this him calling me right now? We consider Korea to be a close ally and friend. That's not true. That's not true. Why are you lying? You've always been an ally of North Korea because of communism. There was a time when our two nations were strong allies, but that has changed. China stands with South Korea. You know, I always knew uh, China didn't actually like North Korea. Maybe this is realistic. If we actually were united the, uni the South Korean or the... 
Peninsula, I guess. Maybe they would turn against me. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't know how upset I am about this. He simply laughs and hangs up the phone in response. Oh, okay, you wanna be the bigger man. I feel okay calling myself a United Korean Empire. We are kind of an empire. We have a colony in Africa. We have uh, Russia, China, who said they didn't want to be my friend. India, South Africa. Ask India to be my friend. Modi just contact us. Oh, we sent him a letter. Okay, kind of. Okay, cool. So we're friends. Thank you. Bye. Oh, he's down for it. Ah, no problem. We're happy to be friends. We'll now mark countries in yellow that are friendly towards North Korea. I'm going to call back the leader of China and demand he give me territory. Wait, he... He blocked me? The phone line instantly disconnects. All calls from President Xi Jinping has blocked- What? Because I told him I hated him, I think. Alright, you know what? I think there's only one way to respond to this. We need to send forces into Manchuria. The United Korean Empire military has moved into northern China against China's military. China citizens have been told to evacuate as the Korean military advances into their country. As the supreme leader of North Korea, you have easily annexed Manchuria and it's now under your rule. Well, it does fit really naturally with our Korean Empire anyways. Really like like what's going on here. India has invaded the southern part of China since he's my ally, of course. With the United Korean Empire and India working together, their combined invasion of China has been successful. Both nations are now in control of their respective annexed territories. I feel like... First of all, this would be absolutely impossible for India to- I mean, the Himalayas are here, it would not be fun. I think I'm just gonna give India Tibet, basically. Just something like that. They don't want to be a part of China anyways. Okay, India looks horrifying now. I'm gonna probably ask India to just- just annex Nepal and Bhutan, please. Just so I don't have to look at this. Let's see if he still has me blocked now. After several- uh, oh, there's- it's ringing. Oh, I'm not blocked anymore. What do you want? Pretty cool thing for me to say. I'll tell you what it's like. It's like seeing my nation being ripped- Ripped apart by enemies. It's humiliating, embarrassing, disappointing. I will fight the Indian invaders to the last man, just you wait, or we will get our territory back. Stop the war right now, or your fate will be sealed in the nipple explosion chamber. No, no, do you think threats would scare us? No nipple explosion chamber can scare the Chinese people <laughs> into submission. Are you sure about that? It has been a secret North Korean technology we've been discovering, building for years. I then let uh, the Chinese leader listen to the former screams of the, uh, South Korean leader through the phone. China's expression immediately changes to concern and fears as he listens to the audio recording of the screams of the former South Korean president. <laughs> as more screams are heard, his face shifts to one of terror. Please, no, I, I surrender, I surrender, just stop the screams. He quickly agrees because he is too terrified to argue. Just stop screaming, I'll give you all our remaining territory, just stop the screaming. People think North Korea was just sitting here doing nothing for decades? No, the moment the Korean War ended in the 1950s, we started building the secret weapon. It has taken us like seven decades to finally do it, but yeah, uh, pretty much no one wants uh, to deal with us anymore. Deal with- they, they have to say yes. Alright, cool. We're looking pretty good. Gonna cause insult to injury, because I know he doesn't like this. He's completely terrified by your actions. Okay, there we go. He is now a broken man. All he had to do is listen to the person inside of this chamber, and he's just done. The psychological impact is forever. Just gonna see how my African colony is doing down there. This man is very happy with the Korean president presence in his uh, uh, nation. We're providing him economic aid and support. Okay, cool. Now that it's pretty much just us over here, I kind of want to make a Asian NATO to fight against NATO? As Supreme Leader of the Korean Empire, you can easily establish a North Asian Treaty Organization, a NATO. Wait, we're gonna create NATO too? Which countries would you like to invite NATO to? We had one NATO, yes, but what about second NATO? The following countries are interested in joining. Oh, Japan? Okay, well, Japan had an agreement with the USA. India's already in a friendship. All the above nations are now proud members of the North Asia Asian Treaty Organization, or otherwise known is Asia, uh, NATO 2, Asia 2, I don't know. But now I have to think about all, get all these. Even Japan is horrified by what, what I've done to South Korea and China. There's Malaysia as well. Iran, interestingly enough, as well as four Stan nations, not uh, Kazakhstan though. This is certainly an interesting NATO 2, but it's definitely not gonna be able to rival um, the other NATO. Probably need more members or more powerful members. I'm going to ask some member of NATO 2 if they want more territory. Checking in with some of the leaders, yes, uh, we would be happy to support the Korean Empire in pursuits of their claims of the former Chinese territory. We probably already have that. Oh, it's Japan. Japan says, yes, we would be interested in reclaiming our control over these islands. I was hoping something bigger than the islands. Also, that'd be against Russia, right? Interestingly, this is already a disputed territory, even in our real life. I literally can't even look at this man's face anymore without, like, kind of laughing. It's horrible. I'm sorry. I, I, we're torturing him, but India wants to attack Sri Lanka, okay? And Uzbekistan, wait, you, that's, that is our 
our friend. We don't we don't want to do that. Gosh, do I have to do everything around here? NATO 2 members support the idea of uniting the Stan nations in Central Asia to grow their alliance. India says we support the uniting of the Central Asian station, sta uh, nations. Okay, invade Kazakhstan then. The Korean Empire and NATO 2 have invaded Kazakhstan. The Kazakhstan military has offered little more than token resistance and now is under control. Wait, Korean control. I didn't really want this, but whatever. Oh, we do border Kazakhstan. I did forget about- Okay, I'll take that then. Okay, so we basically have something like this. Also, Chad needs to be considered under NATO 2. In response to NATO 2, NATO 3 emerges. Which countries are joining NATO 3? Pfft, wow, NATO 3 sucks. Oh, Malaysia's trying to join uh, because they have a government in exile. They want to try to join NATO 3 because they want to curb the Korean power. No, you can't do that. Find them and kill them. That's a very simple solution. There's a growing international tension between NATO 3 and the Northern Asian Treaty Organization NATO 2. Some nations have already picked sides and are preparing for possible military. What? No, no. I don't want that. Please. No. We apologize for the uh, tense global situation. The world has not seen such global turmoil since World War II. Both NATO 3 and NATO 2 are determined to maintain their control over expanded territories. Oh, NATO is supporting NATO 3. Damn it. We're gonna need a NATO 4 then, I think. Who is leading this sad, pathetic NATO 3? I'm just gonna straight up ask NATO 3 to join NATO 2. We asked NATO 3 if they'd be interested in joining NATO 2. Unfortunately, we cannot join NATO 2 due to our, uh, the, okay, it's, it's because of our fault. However, there is no chance of NATO 3 ever becoming a formal part of NATO 2. I don't like you very much then. Maybe now I can torture NATO 3 into joining us. We're going to force every single NATO 2 country to play K-pop at all hours of the day. All members of NATO 2 unanimously approve of this mandate. This mandate playing of K-pop at all hours of the day has officially become law. NATO 3 nations are horrified by your statement, but they have no choice but to comply with your requests. In a matter of days, NATO 3 nations have been forcibly converted into NATO 2 nations, as torture using K-pop has been very effective in their conversations. They're lucky I didn't resort to the chamber. Alright, well we have all new yellow. I mean, these countries should have really just joined NATO 2 in the first place, honestly. See if NATO 2 can even think about being able to take on NATO 1. NATO 2 can and likely will fight NATO in a full-scale war. Both NATO 2 and NATO 3 have expressed- wait, NATO 3 have expressed their di desire to increase the- so we're still thinking- we're still keeping in mind NATO 3? Before we do this, let's see if we can handle this peacefully. President Biden picks up. Hello, this is President, uh, United States Joe Biden. What can I do for you? Have you already had your daily nap today? No, I have not. As <laughs> the President of the United States, my days are quite busy, but that doesn't mean I don't take care of my health and my rest. Why do you ask? Because if you haven't had your little nappy, then you might make an unwise decision right now. Biden is slightly puzzled by your comment, but he responds in the best of his ability. I don't need nappy time to be a good leader. <laughs> I'm a grown man. I can make good decisions for my country regardless of my sleep schedule. Are you sure? I heard you went pee pee in the bed last night. Your wife, Jill, already told me. I should have put Jill. President Biden Biden is annoyed at hearing that you've spoken with his wife. Excuse me? You talked to the first lady, Dr. Jill Biden, about my bedwetting? What do you mean? Pee pee in the bed. Is that some sort of slang? Dr. Biden and I keep our marriage and our private life separate. Me and your wife talk every day. She wants to be Korean. Still annoyed, also confused. Really? My wife, Dr. Jill Biden, talks to you every day? I had no idea. I was not aware that she had any interest in the culture of the Korean Empire. But if that's what she wants, then I fully support her decision. I guess there's no reason to be offended by any of this if my wife truly feels this way maybe that's what all the k-pop memes are meant to represent all right we might not be able to take them over physically but we can definitely destroy the united states emotionally i bought a plane ticket for jill last night she is coming to be one of my seven wives already in pyongyang sounds more amused than annoyed now really dr jill is going to visit north korea and become one of your wives this is just getting more interesting i'll have to find out more about what exactly is going on here she has said nothing to me of this trip to korea Ask her then, I say laughing. He calls Jill. Jill Biden picks up out of the phone. Hello, Joe, what do you need? Dr. Biden is surprised at first, but she's confirmed the story. She explains that she's been intrigued. <laughs> Intrigued by the culture of the Korean Empire for a long time now, and she has wanted to visit the heart of the culture for years. She's also decided she would be happy and fulfilled as one of my wives. I'm gonna really rub it in now. He has never seen Jill this enthusiastic about North Korea, about our marriage in general. Oh, that's sweet. He just wants to see Jill happy. Since I've just cucked the United States president, I'm gonna see if I can get away with more. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. NATO 2 and NATO 3 despise each other's guts. Well, I'm not exactly happy about that, but I guess I can allow you to take 
like Mexico. They're not a NATO leader, just don't think I'm happy about the decision. We've had a closer relationship with Mexico, so giving up Mexico breaks my heart. Sounds like Mexico is more important to you than your wife. What a sad man. The Korean Empire grows again. <laughs> Do you love Mexico more than your wife, Joe? Joe pauses for a moment. Of course I love my wife. Dr. Jill Biden, more than Mexico. How could any sane person answer differently? I love my wife in ways I can't express. Well, you just allowed me to take both your wife and Mexico from you quite easily. I'm not sure if you think I can control my wife and keep her from doing things, but she's a free and independent woman. All right, bud. That's I'm just going to finish it off with that. You're all right, too, even if you're trying to steal my wife and Mexico. I guess I'll just have to visit my wife in North Korea every once in a while <laughs> to make sure she's happy. <laughs> There's a lot I could go with that. Okay, well, the North Korean Empire didn't exactly take over the world, but we do have colonies in Mexico and Chad, and we pretty much have made Joe Biden just, you know, uh, submit to us. I really need to stop right here or else I can tell things are gonna, it's gonna get too, we're gonna get demonetized. And big thanks to my patrons this Drew, month. Drew, I'm your dad, back with the milk. Look outside! Carino is best girl. The clone's training is complete and is Frederick, I Tiblin, can't sleep Lad, without Australia and is real. I am not a paid the great Jack John's Drayton, annoying Denver, friend. Sebi, if you hate I love you. The Mexican 7th Fat, Norwal, Rye, the Pie, Luxembourg Lover, and why am I doing this?